Okay. So, uh, I was, well, I, I ordered the, uh, J and M jacking rails from, um, hotpart.com or whatever it's called. It's these big mothers. And turns out, turns out it is pretty tough to, um, get under the car. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So, um, I'm getting under the car kind of, but like you can see, it's going to be near impossible to like reach under here. I don't even know if it's showing, but like I have to get to these bolts over here and I got to try to do that without, without scratching something. It's going to be tough. So, oh man. So I'm actually going to go to my friend's house and borrow his race ramps and um, yeah, try to get it done. Try to get it done with those. Hopefully I can actually drive up onto them. I don't know. <sighs> There's always something, isn't there? Yeah, so messy garage. Yeah, so I am going to head there now. I think you can. What input level do I have this at? Yeah, 60 is good. Okay. Off to my buddy's house to get his race ramps. Here we go. Got the ramps, ready to go. I'm back. Uh, I'm gonna attempt to back up onto the race ramps now. We'll see how that works out. Okay.
worked. Wow. That's amazing. Okay. Let's see if the front is scraping at all. No, nope, we're good. It's very close, but we're good. Show you the front, see how low it is. Oh, yeah. Um, anyone need M5 parts, by the way? Parting out an E39 M5? Yep. Okay, let's see what we got. That works. Okay, uh, what do I need here? I don't know how big those are. Yeah, to get some tools. Where are my calipers? Since I don't know what size these things are, I'm just gonna measure them with calipers, get the best possible sizing. I think that's the smart thing to do, right? With my cheapo calipers. Let's try 15 millimeter. That'll do it. Okay. Put the cheapo calipers away. You want to be very gentle with cheap shit. Okay. I need a ratchet. I need a ratchet. I have found, I have found a ratchet. Okay. I gotta go get the uh, driver's side rail. I'm gonna put this towel down so I don't have to rest the uh, the rail on the ground and scratch it up, even though, you know, it will eventually get scratched up, I'm sure. Okay. 
Which way does this go? Okay, let's get, Blah. oh, wait. Almost forgot the torque wrench. So, I'm gonna get um, all the screws started and then I'll torque them after. According to according to the the place I bought them from, hotparts.com, I believe. Um, it's supposed to be 47 foot pounds if you use thread locker, or 62 foot pounds if you don't. So I'm just gonna do thread locker because they were on the uh, bolts that were in there, and. Um, I don't know, 50 something, maybe 50 foot pounds. That should hold it. If not, then whoever is behind me has a big problem. I think most people will get rid of that, um, I don't know what that stuff's called. It's like Bondo or whatever that they use to close up the seam so water doesn't get in. I think a lot of people will cut that off so it sits more flush. I don't think it's that necessary. I mean, if, it, if I compress it enough, it'll It'll be fine. Whatever. So, one at a time. Well, let me set the torque wrench.
way smarter. So I guess the battery died. I don't know at what point, but it did. So what I gotta do is um, just elongate or just kind of widen one of those holes because uh, I guess the pattern isn't quite right. So I'm gonna do it in this one. I guess I could file it. Yeah, I guess I'll file. Ow! I guess I'll file it. Shoot. That's probably the right one. 
to choose, or maybe this one? Half round, round, bastard file. Mm. Yeah, I'll go with this one for now. Okay, oh, actually, it's, that's not even going to fit. Never mind. Okay. Got to return you. Going for round four. Round four. Let's take my phone out, put this in, and let's do this. So I didn't film the uh, rest of the install, so I was just getting annoyed. But um, yeah, it's in now. <laughs> I think I may have kind of stripped the, one of those um, holes, one of the tapped parts, but it, I was still able to torque down the, the screw that went in, so I didn't strip it too bad, luckily. <sighs> it's frustrating. But that's that. That's how you install the left side properly and the uh, passenger side kind of haphazardly. Thanks. Bye.